All right, I want to just show one last thing is putting, obviously I got a different rim and I'm putting it behind, I'm putting it on my car now, but we got a little issue. That looks fine, I'll lower it a little bit. Fine, whatever, that's good. What my problem is, is see how this black is here? It's really not too convincing because it just, it just could be better. Or if you have white as well. So if we get in here, we'll get close, move the car over. I'm going to use this tool, which I haven't really showed you guys yet. If it looks like this, a quick selection tool, it's called the magic wand tool. The magic wand tool grabs contrast, but sometimes it doesn't. See how it grabs more over here? If you click on this, the reason it's doing that is because the front fender I put on initially was there. So see how it grabs that? Highlight it and delete it. Click here and delete it. Here, delete. Here. It grabs all of that good contrast. And it selects everything. Now, sometimes it will not work, and you're going to have to delete those things individually. All I have to do is left click and delete it. In that one, no. No. Yes. And no. So from here, let's just get rid of the other the rims really quick bring back the front fender see now it's starting to show you where where it would be so for the other segments you can use the polygonal lasso tool and in here you can actually just come in and just delete these little sections of rim so it's a little bit more convincing to a viewer edit cut see it gets rid of it for us now mind you I'm not doing the whole rim, I'm only doing the part that's visible. Alright, so that's how you do it. And you go to edit cut. And then we'll do this one last section because when I grabbed the magic wand, you saw that it grabbed more of these particular areas. It wasn't very cooperative. Alright, this one it should, but it doesn't. And this one it should, but it doesn't. That little line there is what ruins it for us. So we'll get closer into here. Select, deselect. You want to get rid of this part you gotta use the polygonal lasso. Don't even use the magnetic because you can use the magnetic as well actually on this one. I want you guys to practice the differences between these tools and how they're relevant. I hit backspace as you, you were showed and we'll come back up to here. So that's the magnetic lasso. Edit cut. See it gets rid of it. And this one I'll use the polygonal on this one just to show variety on how the tools are used. Polygonal only goes where you put it. The magnetic will go only on contrast, at least around the perimeter. All right, that's good. Select, deselect something. Click your, you know, move, come down here. And obviously for this one, you know what? I'm going to show you guys another little trick. If I come into here and I actually, oh no, it's not going to work. Maybe it will. If I want to just shorten do the shorthand, let's see. I can go to Edit Cut, get rid of it. Make sure you're in the rim layer too, which is this layer right here. In this layer, I can now probably use, yeah, it's not bad. Delete it. You know, the pixel police aren't going to go, oh, no, look, you missed it. No, it's all right. It's not that big a deal. So we'll come over here. We'll get uh, Select, Deselect coming in, and we'll also add one onto this side. So we'll go to the polygonal lasso, and I'm coming down over to here, and I'm just simply cutting and pasting certain things. Uh, it makes it easier when you know how to use the magnetic lasso, the polygonal, or the magic wand. So I'll go to edit cut, and we'll just do this last section right here, and then it's done. So if you really wanted to get into detail with your rims, go to edit cut, and when we back out, now you have an entirely different rim on. So the, that's the other one. That's the original, and here's the one that I just added on there. All right, so that's just uh, the magic wand tool. Magic wand tool grabs contrast, all right? And that's something that is really, really important to make your life a lot easier, especially if you're cropping out anime and cartoons and stuff. This tool grabs strictly contrast, all right? Uh, let's get out. Let's uh, control zero so you can see everything, and this will grab just the background. Watch. Just the background it grabs. Grabs the entire background, even this part of the rim, though. I don't know why. Uh, select, deselect. But that's what the magic wand tool does. Oh, that's why. I'm on the rim layer. If I go to car layer and I click on the background, it, it highlights. See, in here, it bleeds into here, right through here. And then it goes in through this section. See, it only grabs contrast. It will grab this. Was, this should grab. You know? Let me find one other section it could uh, get rid of. 
nothing. This car's got poor contrast. Everything is kind of subtly black. All right, just a tint. All right, so that's the magic wand tool. So if you really want to grab something, the magic wand tool is, it's like magic. It grabs everything with contrast. All right, thank you very much.